Hello YouTube! Today, I'm going to be doing this very highly requested look presenting to you the Pop Art Zombie. This is popularized by Mikey from Glam and Gore and many other talented YouTubers as well. Wanna know how I transform myself and my girl Cordelia into this very hot and deadly Pop Art Zombie? After my skincare routine, I am going to use Tarte Primer to prime my skin especially on the most oily zones of my face like my forehead, nose and chin. And then to protect my skin from breaking out because of the face paint, I am just gonna apply another primer professional from Benefit all over my face. Next, I am going to make my eyebrows disappear using non-toxic Elmer's glue. Afterwards, using Skin Food Concealer, I am gonna conceal my brows and blend it with my fingertips until I look like a walking Halloween. Moving on, taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm gonna roughly map out my brain area and the parts of my cheeks that I want to expose. Then I'm locating the line where my teeth will be and draw a thin line to just map it out. Using a damp brush, I'm applying this blue-violet color I have mixed before onto the parts of my face that is outside of the mapped area. I'm going to start from the center of my face and just apply it evenly all over my face and I'm also going to avoid my brows so that I can fill it up later on with another color. Continuing to my neck, I'm also going to evenly apply on my shoulder and also the upper chest. And also not forgetting to apply on my ears as well. To fill my brows, I'm using a light pink body paint I'm going to make a slightly more arched brows than my natural brows. I'm also going to apply the same color to fill up the area where my brains will be. To clean the brows, I'm taking an angled brush to apply the blue-violet paint and conceal any harsh lines that I've made before. Look, my brows on point. And then taking my next Jumbo Pencil, I am going to just sketch my teeth on all the exposed skin on the cheeks. And using this small brush and a white face paint, just fill in those teeth. After that, taking my beauty blender, I am going to highlight the highest point on my face using two face foundation. Gently tapping it on my forehead, then the bridge on my nose, the chin, and the highest points on my cheek to highlight all these parts. To contour my nose, I am using a blue shadow to create an illusion of a higher nose bridge. To use the same eyeshadow to contour my cheekbones and jaw. This is to make my face look more sunken and just make sure you blend it well. I decide to add a little bit of black shadow to just amplify the look, play around with a little bit of purple and give my face more dimension with this color. Next, I'm gonna use this liquid eyeliner from Etude to outline my brain area. You can actually also do this with a lip brush and black face paint. I'm also going to take an angled brush and black face paint to frame my new pink gorgeous brows. Not forgetting the outline on all the openings and the nasty cuts on my cheeks too. Then, to create a more 2D look, I'm outlining all around my face, starting from my forehead all the way down to my jawline. Taking the same Etude Liquid Liner, I'm gonna carve out light sketches of my brains. Next, I'm gonna turn my nose into a skeleton-looking nose by drawing two joint triangles with a sharp tip, like so. Then, I'm just gonna outline the teeth to make it look like they pop out on my cheeks. After creating your teeth masterpiece, take the same light pink face paint to fill up the rest of your exposed flesh in your cheeks. Moving on to the eyes, taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to apply on both of the outer corner of my lids. And I'm just gonna fill up the rest with this green shadow. I'm also gonna use a lighter green shadow to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm also applying a black shadow again above my natural crease to make my eyes look deeper. So, not forgetting the illusion of a dark circle below my right eye, I'm using a dark blue shadow for this. Okay, now this is the fun part. To give dimension to all the exposed flesh, I am using a combination of different dark shadows to outline the outer part of these exposed flesh. However, make sure to leave a little bit of space to be highlighted so that it looks as if they pop out of your face. Moving on, I'm giving more depth to the flesh on my cheeks by using a black and dark red shadow along the outline of the cuts. And make sure you just blend it well with the rest of the colors. I'm also gonna do so to my brains to make them look more alive. I felt something was missing, so I decided to add another exposed flesh to my look. This is the cut near my lips. Using a black face paint and a thin brush, I am just lining right above all the bone lines on the throat area, upper chest and shoulders too. You might have to make some faces and stretch your neck to locate all these bone lines you never know exist in your life. 
I'm outlining along my shoulders all the way down to my arms to make myself look like a cartoon. Outline your ears as well. And to give more depth to these bone lines, I'm using a black eyeshadow to contour these bones and give them more texture. Oh, and the boobs. Enhance the boobs for a pop art look. Bam! Look at that cleavage. Awesome. Then the magical part, highlighting. I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil and highlighting every part of my body that I want to accentuate. This technique gives a more realistic effect to your zombie pop art look. I'm using a black liner to just give final details and run through some lines that fades away to have a cleaner and a bolder finish. Some of the features I draw here are very flexible. Unleash your inner zombie look. And yes, don't forget your inhuman contact lens to make your pop art zombie look epic. Contacts are a great way to really amplify and achieve a more dramatic look for any makeup. So try not to miss on this part. Then line your eyes creating a dramatic wing and also don't miss out on the bottom of your eyeliner. And don't worry so much if it's messy or uneven. You're just a zombie after all. Moving on to the lashes. Curl your lashes before applying falsies. Taking a dramatic pair of lashes and I got mine from Daiso at only $2. Last part will be the lips. I'm taking a yellow face paint and apply it on that small part of my lips and set it with a yellow eyeshadow as well. Today, I also have Cordelia with me to be my hot, deadly pop art zombie girlfriend. After making sure her face is clean, prepped and primed, I'm going to do the exact similar steps to transform her into a pop art zombie too. However, I'll be using different colors and also different areas of the flesh I want to expose. You can do the same as well as this zombie pop art look is very flexible and it's very fun to play around with. There's no rules or boundaries or how things should be done. You wanna look more like a pretty zombie or you wanna really screw up your whole entire face, it's all up to you. So stick around to watch how fun it was to transform the very bubbly and beautiful Cordelia into this deadly hot mess zombie. For us to win, where do I start? If you wanna go to the left, then you wanna turn right Wanna argue all day, make a love all night Push it up, then you're down, and in between Oh, I really wanna know What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. When you nod your head, yes Hi guys, so this is our pop art zombie look for Halloween We hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wanna say thank you to Cordelia for doing this Bye, see you next time